up, the bomb squad. This is Donda Bomb back for a creepy, horrific, scary, frightening food review. <laughs> <coughs> hey guys, this is Dom the Bomb back with another exciting food review. They're crazy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together ooky, the Adams family. I really can't snap my fingers very good. Well, you're probably wondering what all this hoopla is all about, you know. And, hey, I'm not Uncle Fester. This is Don the Bomb, your boy. Don't be afraid. I mean you no harm. Well, at least right now. <laughs> anyway. I'm back for another exciting, action-packed food review. And what am I going to be reviewing today? Inquiring minds want to know. Well, this is October. This is Halloween season, y'all. This is one of the, you know, the most fun times of the year for most people. I love Halloween. I still like to dress up and stuff like that. Hell, look it. Uncle Fester? No, this is just the way I go out every day. Come on now. This is my normal attire, my normal garb. Anyway... Burger King has introduced, to celebrate the Halloween season, uh, the Adams Family-inspired menu items. And for all of you that don't know, the Adams Family was originally a sitcom in the 60s, which kind of was a lot like the Munsters. They had uh, Gomez, Morticia, Wednesday, uh, some little kids, some hot blonde, uh, Cousin It. You know, that type of stuff. The Thing, I think, is was in there. I don't know. I've, I've seen quite a few episodes back in the day, but none recently. Anyway, Burger King has introduced some Adams Family-inspired items. And I'm going to be trying them out and reviewing them for you today. i seen that this was out, and I didn't want to waste any time. So I went to BK. I'm going to see what the fuss is about. I don't want to be scared. That's for damn sure. <laughs> okay. So a couple days ago, I did a uh, Wendy's and SpongeBob SquarePants collaboration meal, which was very tasty. I'm hoping this will not only meet those expectations of that last meal, but actually exceed it. That is a tall bar, they said. No, not really. Anyway, let's see here. We have Morticia's Cookie Sh Chocolate Shake, which is a creamy self-serve ice cream with chocolate cake batter fudge topped with cookie pieces. Looks like purple and black cookie pieces. I love chocolate. This is gonna be safe for last, the best for last. I gotta move this along, move this along. Uh, here are the Gomez churro fries. Obviously Gomez, with that name, you'd expect some sort of Hispanic descent. Which leads us to the churro fries. I'm sure that will be a nice little sweet treat. This is going to be overly sweet, and I love it because I just love chocolate. One of my most favorite things in the world. Oh, my dog Sophie just walked over me, anticipating getting part of my Wednesday Whopper. Well, anyway, going back to the Gomez churro fries, they're crispy fried churros coated with cinnamon sugar and paired with chocolate dipping sauce, as we can see right here. And the main feature of the meal is the Wednesday Whopper, which was the daughter. You can see the packaging inspired by our friends over with the Adams family. Oh my goodness, and the Wednesday Whopper. Well, that is your iconic flame broiled Whopper topped with Swiss cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, mayo, and ketchup, pickles, and onions topped on a toasted purple bun with black sesame seeds. Let's start with that bad boy. And we are off to the races here. Playing all the hits, checking all the boxes. We are now cooking with gas. Look at this purple bun. Now, most people, when they see a, a purple bun on their sandwich, 
probably going to take that sandwich and throw it out, but this is meant to be this way. Now, I don't know if that's going to change the flavor profile of this sandwich, but I'm about to find out. So, you know what's in it? I know what's in it. At least I think I know what's in it. I read what the uh, menu said. The ingredients, well, all right, purple bun and all. The Wednesday Whopper down the hatch. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just get a little carried away sometimes. Or all the time. I'm immature. Look at me, I look like a damn doofus. It's supposed to be Uncle Fester, though. Down the hatch. The Whopper is one of my favorite fast food sandwiches. It's obviously Burger King's trademark iconic sandwich, similar to McDonald's and their Big Mac. Every fast food place has to have a signature sandwich. Nope, I'm talking with my mouthful. Sorry about that. Hello, tomato. I don't like tomato. Oh, what the heck do I got going on up here? Um, oh my goodness, I'm making a mess. Making a mess. Good thing I can see myself on the camera. After all, I do have a face for radio. <laughs> Come on now, you people, hating people. I do love a Whopper. The purple bun does not really seem to give it a different flavor profile. It's just maybe just a purple bun. I know one of the Whoppers, special Whoppers they had a couple of years ago was a black bun. I think it was the Angry Whopper or something like that. But the, the bun actually was infused with A1 sauce, which gave it a different flavor. This right here, all the ingredients are here and good. Crispy lettuce and tomato and onion and pickle. You have your, you have your ketchup mayo blend. And your, of course, flame broiled beef patty, as you would come to expect from a Whopper. This tastes just like a Whopper, which I guess is good, but I was hoping for something a little different. I was also hoping for a Adam's Family box that it was all in. That would have been some cool, have some cool artwork and stuff, but not meant to be. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't want to get this stuff on my robe. I'm supposed to wear this out later tonight. Anyway, all right. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go over the prices real quick. My Burger King charged me $6.29 for the Wednesday Whopper, $3.89 for an eight-piece of the churro fries. Is that $3.99 for the Morticia chocolate shake for a total of, with tax, $14.17. So, eh, it is what it is. So... Wednesday Whopper tastes just like a regular Whopper, which I love right, regular Whoppers, but, you know, maybe I was hoping for a little bit of a different flavor. Let's go for the Gomez Churro Fries. We'll turn it around so you can see that. And I love chocolate, man. The more chocolate, the better. Oh, the chocolate dipping sauce. Oh, my goodness. First, I'll take a bite without the sauce. Mmm. They're, they're nice and warm. They have a they crispy outside and a, a nice soft inside. Good. Now try it with the chocolate dipping sauce. And then after I'm done eating my churros, I'm going to take a bath in this chocolate sauce because I love me some chocolate. All right. Down the hatch. Oh, my goodness. The churros that are already really good now become epic with the addition of some chocolate sauce. I could put chocolate sauce on anything and make it better. Well, you know, within reason, of course. <laughs> Those were good. Um, you know what? I have a special guest. There she is. Sophie is waiting for her piece of the Wednesday Whopper, aren't you, girl? Oh, I got to get my hand out of the way. You want a Wednesday Whopper, Sophie? Look at the camera. What is that over here? Look at the camera. 
I don't even know if I, uh, whatever, whatever, be it as it may. Put the camera back. Oh my goodness, that is a first. So in my efforts to get video footage of my dog Sophie begging for a piece of the Wednesday Whopper, I must have hit the stop button. And I am not technologically savvy, so I hope that this review ends up put together in one adhesive video review. And this Uncle Fester trench coat's getting really hot. So last but not least, let us try out the Morticia's Cookie Chocolate Shake. How can you go wrong with this? This is going to be epic. I already know. I already know. It's just the way it goes. I love chocolate once again for like the 50th time in this review. Down the hatch. Oh my gosh, this is chocolatey goodness. Chocolatey goodness. And like I said, there were some cookie crumble on top. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I just said I could take a bath in the chocolate sauce. Well, oh my goodness. I can go skinny dipping right now. Well, not skinny dipping. Now, let me rephrase that. But I could jump. I could jump in this and not have any regrets. Anyway, that was a pretty, pretty tasty meal. Very chocolatey and sweet. Wednesday Whopper was a Whopper with a purple bun. Hey, that's all right. So I'm going to be giving... The items that I tried from BK, the total meal, I'm going to be giving that an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, this, this, oh my gosh. Ugh. This is a limited time only items, obviously, probably for just October. Once November hits, these items might be gone. So anybody that might be remotely interested in trying any of this stuff, I enjoyed it, so head over to your local BK and see what the fuss is about. So, I hope everybody has a good Halloween season. Um, and, as I like to finish my videos with, please like, subscribe, comment, share, enable notifications on your seller device if you want to see any more of my videos. And ring that bell. And remember, boys and ghouls, that are going through the trials and tribulations of life. <laughs> remember this from Don the Bomb. All that glitter is not gold. <laughs>